Well, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, we are just days away from Donald Trump's summit with Kim Jong-un. Truly historic. The stakes are almost as high as Trump and Kim's cholesterol. <laughs> They're calling this one the Lipitor in Singapore. Yeah. Really Quick hard. reminder, the fallout of this meeting could be actual fallout. <laughs> but don't worry, as Trump explained during a joint press conference with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe today, he is primed and ready. I think I'm very well prepared. I don't think I have to prepare very much. It's about uh, attitude. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You don't have to, you yeah, don't have to prepare. Yeah. Complex diplomacy with an international adversary has always been about tood. <laughs> He's got the right attitude. Who can forget Bye. Reagan's famous words? Mr. Gorbachev, how you like me now? Talk to the hand, bitch. Now, so that's going to be fine. That's going to be fine, obviously. Oh, and good news. Uh, Melania Trump was seen in public yesterday. Um, yeah, we love her. She saw her shadow. That means six more... <laughs> 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 that means, that means at least, that means at least six more weeks of marriage. <laughs> Yesterday, she and the president met with FEMA officials to discuss hurricane preparedness, which is appropriate because she disappeared after a stormy. <laughs> and the. You're welcome. And the president started the meeting by welcoming her back. We have to start with our great first lady, Melania. Mm. Thank you, Melania. She, uh, she's doing great. Wow. Must be nice to get applause just for showing up to work. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very short meeting about hurricanes, and it was not about hurricanes. Uh, Donald Trump started off by bragging, we saved 1.6 billion on Air Force One. Can you believe it? I got involved in the negotiations. The press refuses to report that, but that's okay. People were really surprised. <laughs> you know who was super surprised? Uh, the Pentagon, who have not been able to explain where Trump got such a figure. Uh. Where would he have gotten that figure, huh? Has anyone checked his butt? <laughs> now... Just taking a core sample. Trump... Trump also bragged about his cabinet, saying, I understand a big story is being done in a newspaper talking about what a great cabinet this is. <laughs> but he didn't specify the outlet. Okay, but we actually, our researchers, our crack research team, found the publication praising the cabinet. It's the IKEA catalog. <laughs> so good. So, so good. Absolutely, you know. With everything going on in our busy lives, once in a while, it's good to take a moment to stop and remember, hey, our president had sex with a porn star. <laughs> Which brings us to tonight's Stormy Watch. <laughs> we all know that... Stormy Daniels is represented by lawyer and cable news-based life form Michael Avenatti. <laughs> but, oh, guess what? John, did you know this? You probably don't know this because oh, I haven't no, told anybody that? yet. What's next, that? Is it next week? Next week, Avenatti is going to be on here with uh, the Mooch. They're going to be on <laughs> the together. <mooch> is... <laughs> yes. The Mooch is back. They, they want to have their own show. They want to have, like, an Avenatti Mooch show. <laughs> I don't know who's going to do that show. We don't know. So it's going to be us next week. We're going to have, <laughs> we're, and we're going to solve some. We're going to solve some problems. We're going to toy with the problems of the universe with Avenatti and Mooch. Set your dial, <laughs> and if you and if you still have a dial, get a new TV. <laughs> but 
Before Stormy Daniels had the lawyer Avenatti, she had a different lawyer named Keith Davidson who negotiated her $130,000 hush payment. Now, she's suing Davidson, claiming that he was a puppet for President Trump, making him the third puppet to work for Trump after Wilbur Ross and his buddy Waldorf. <laughs> According... I love those guys. I love those guys. According to the lawsuit, the whole time that Davidson claimed to be representing the interests of Stormy Daniels, he was secretly working with Trump attorney Michael Cohen. Wow! Two-time in her. Which is also the name of a pretty good Stormy Daniels movie. <laughs> oh! But... Oh! I, that's, oh! I'm being told... I'm being told that's right. Don't boo the truth. And... <laughs> The lawsuit also alleges that in March, Davidson tipped off Cohen that Stormy was changing lawyers and they were going to try to get out of the non disclosure agreement. So Cohen quickly flew down to Mar a Lago to quickly meet with Melania Trump to convince her that Stormy Daniels was a liar and not to be trusted. Then, just out of habit, he gave her $130,000 to keep quiet about it. <laughs> now, Hurricane Stormy has also crossed the Atlantic. And made landfall in Israel thanks to a visit from Trump lawyer and <laughs> phantom of the flat screen, Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> ah. But. <laughs> no matter that means. Rudy appeared at a conference, and I have to warn you, the audio on this clip is not great, and neither is the video, because it's of Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> he was asked about the Stormy Daniels allegations. Oh, very, very credible source. Stormy, uh, Stormy, the porn star. You know, every porn person can't be a star. I never heard of her before. Now, I don't really look at porn. Please get that down. Please, please hold that down. Uh, me thinks the mayor might be protesting a little too much. I don't watch porn. I don't know who Stormy Daniels is. I don't know the work of Sasha Gray or Jenna Jameson. I certainly don't know anything about the 2005 epic Pirates Triple X starring Tommy Gunn as Captain Randall Thrust. Please get that down. <laughs> That's T.R. Then... Giuliani was asked how the allegations affected the First Lady. She believes in her husband. She knows it's untrue. I don't even think there's a slight suspicion that it's true when you... Excuse me, but when you look at Stormy Daniels... Uh, I know Donald Trump and... Let's look respect at his, him. Look at his three wives, right? Beautiful women, classy women, women of great substance. Stormy Daniels? Wow. I know Stormy Daniels is an adult film star, but Rudolf Giuliani might be the biggest dick she's ever seen. <laughs> the, an unpleasant person. Unpleasant person. What do you please? Unpleasant person. What are they thinking? The moderator tried to moderate the former mayor, but he was having no part of it. You have to respect on the stage of the women. I'm sorry, I don't respect a porn star the way I respect a career woman. Wrong, Rudy. Stormy is a career woman. She's a director, a producer, an actor. Plus, she's been a nurse, a secretary, and a lonely stepmom. Okay? Very lonely. Very lonely. Sad. Sad, really. Then Rudy weighed in on why Kim Jong-un came back to the negotiation table. He said, well, we're not going to have a summit under those circumstances. Well, Kim Jong-un got back on his hands and knees and begged for it which is exactly the position you want to put him in. Are you sure you don't watch porn? Because... <laughs> Rudy clearly had a great time in Israel, as you can see from this footage of him in a restaurant waving a napkin over his head. He's either dancing or signaling to Mueller that they're ready to surrender. 